Starting immediately, Amazon Prime customers can now get food delivered for free with a couple of stipulations if they use Grubhub. While this is a huge win for all the customers involved, we're going to dive into the positives and the negatives gig workers might face over this change. Yeah, that includes Uber Eats and DoorDashers too. You better pay attention because I'm pretty sure that the next big step for Amazon is to straight up buy Grubhub. This is huge news. This match made in heaven is probably just a trial run for Amazon to figure out if Grubhub is worth buying. Grubhub was just bought by Just Eat Takeaway, which we will further refer to as Jet, for $7.6 billion and it's been bleeding money ever since. In most markets, Uber Eats and DoorDash are seen as the top dog competitors. In fact, when Amazon tried to launch their own food delivery service back in 2019, the billion dollar corporation who focuses on deliveries couldn't even keep up. That says a lot. Even the shareholders of Jet have been pleading with Jet to find a company to buy Grubhub because of how much money they've been losing. And this is where Amazon comes into the picture. The agreement between Grubhub and Amazon gives Amazon the ability to purchase up to 15% of Grubhub at an extremely discounted rate. That rate is based off of how well Grubhub performs with their new partnership. For Prime customers, this is a pretty big deal. Typically, your Grubhub Plus membership would be $9.99 a month. Now, for Amazon Prime users, which includes over 200 million people, you can get that for free for the next year starting immediately, like right now. Like the fact that you're still here and like not signing up for this is the problem. But if you wait till the video is over, you'll surely find the links below. This is gonna have a huge impact on us drivers too. If you live in a city that has Grubhub and offers other delivery service like Uber Eats or DoorDash, you should start to expect a decline in those platforms in favor for Grubhub. Here's how you can take advantage of that. It sounds a little obvious, but I, I just have to say it. Start using Grubhub. A lot of gig workers tend to have this unreasonable high amount of loyalty for specific worker apps. Don't feel bad? I'm like that too. My channel is mainly focused on Lyft, but that's gonna change right now. That's because I'm gonna sign up for Grubhub right in front of you so we can both see how easy it is. Or, I mean, it could be hard. Either way, we're gonna find out together. All right, so we're just gonna Google Grubhub, sign up, see what comes up. Deliver food and earn extra cash. We'll click on that. First message I see is that they're prioritizing health and safety for our drivers and partners. We're not gonna read that right now. Make money on your time and on your terms. Sign up with Grubhub to start earning. Okay, so I live in South Carolina and I am in Charleston. Okay, so it gets very specific. It breaks down Charleston into different areas, which I know Lyft and Uber don't do that. I think DoorDash might do that, but I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've signed up with them. All right, just asking for my information. Okay, then the next step is to download the app. Make great money, earn competitive pay, and keep 100% of your tips. Work when you want. Be your own boss. They got like a nice little heat map similar to Lyft and Uber. I like that. All right, so it's already downloaded. It was pretty fast. Grubhub for drivers. So we fill out our name, create password. I like to just auto-generate password. It's just one less thing that you have to worry about. And then it sends you a verification code to your email, not your phone number. So keep that in mind because I was definitely looking in my text messages. Okay, so what happened is they connected my customer account to my driver account, which is why I have to use the verification. I don't know if it's gonna be different for you if you've never used Grubhub, period. And I, I think I've used it like many years ago. At least I signed up. I don't think I ever ordered anything from it. Yes, I'm at least 18 years old. What would be your mode of transportation while making deliveries? It's gonna be a car. Can't multi-select. Uh, uh, stressed. Um, situations like this, you wanna pick what you think the right answer is, even if it's not the truth. Don't quote me on that. So I think it's gonna be evenings. When I used to work in the restaurant industry, that's when all of our business used to come in the evenings. So I'm gonna assume that's when they want us to work. What days of the week would I prefer? I'm gonna say weekends. Again, this is where it's probably the, gonna be the busiest, but it might be oversaturated on weekends. We'll see. We're gonna learn very quickly because I'm actually gonna do this for a whole week straight so you guys can know without even trying to do it if it's worth it or not. Immediately, we start immediately. That's how you get jobs quicker. You put immediately. What does this mean? Are you interested in being a delivery partner with Grubhub? I'm just gonna put yes and see where, where that takes us. I don't really know where that is. All right, this is for W4 information. Insurance, I have insurance. He, he, I hope you have insurance too. All right now I gotta verify my ID, my consent. Okay, now they want a selfie. You always wanna make sure you look uh, pleasing and inviting. You want people to invite tips into your life. Success. 
and I use Bank of America so we can get a Grubhub bag at no charge or you can use your own, but it's free. So why wouldn't I just use theirs? Currently validating the information provided on your application. This should only take a few moments. So hopefully by the time I edit this video, it's done. And I'll be able to share that with you in the comment section below how long it actually take. It's currently 1257 EST. And I'm going to post a comment on when they actually get back to me to see if they actually did in a quickly manner. So I'm actually extremely excited about this. I love when there's shakeups in the rideshare or gig economy industry, just because the people who get there first are usually the ones who maximize their money in that industry. Usually people like to have this wait and see mentality where they see how the landscape changes before they act on new information. But I really want to encourage you guys to start now. There's no harm in doing Grubhub for a week straight so that you can learn the different times to work for Grubhub, the best places to be at the times of day to get a jump start on other people who are just like chilling and waiting and think that they're doing their best by only staying on one platform. We are not here to make these individual companies money. We are here to utilize all these companies as best as we can for our own financial independence. That's the type of people I want in my community. So if you want to connect with me, make sure you subscribe. I have a discord link below where I'm trying to gather up drivers who are like minded so that we can talk so that we can share how much money we're making. So we can talk about financial transparency because I know that in other places like Facebook, a lot of those groups don't like when people talk about how much money they're making because they're afraid that it's going to cause oversaturation. But I don't believe that. I believe that I can share my secrets with anyone and I will still be able to compete and make more money than them. It's because I know I'm willing to do a lot of things that other drivers aren't. And that's who, that's who I want to surround myself with. So please subscribe. I really want to be friends with you guys. It's going to be fun. Let's make this money. Peace.